<sighs> well, hey guys, Bo Round Tree Outdoors. We, um, I had promised my buddy Rick I was gonna get back. We're doing, uh, molded a little bit more buckshot. I've run out of number, I got me a 20 gauge. Long story short, got me a 20 gauge last week. And for the first time, I'm loading some 20 gauge buckshot, which the number three and, and the number four buck come in really good for, uh, for loading 20 gauge buckshot. So I'm gonna give a run with some of uh, a couple of Rick's molds here in the Sharpshooter USA. Uh, molds in number three and number four buckshot and show you how they work. Good dude, here we go. Starting out with the number four buck mold. Bye. Sharpshooter USA. This can run along kind of fast. These are real small pellets. Also works good, guys. This is a handle off an old uh, shovel handle. If I can get the camera to focus on it. And I really wrap it up good with a lot of electrical tape. Really wind it up good with electrical tape. So that whenever I'm loosening this thing up, hit it good on both sides. Like this right here. See it's starting to break loose right there? And out they come. Hi right, guys. I'm gonna show you just a few more times to prove to you that this ain't a fluke. I said these are small pellets. They break loose, you see it crack. Breaking loose on both sides. Empty. Everybody's wondering about the mix I'm using here, guys. It's about a two to three percent antimony. I'm making the pellets a little hard. They pattern a lot better. They seem to hold their formation a lot better whenever they're a little harder than just regular old soft lead. So there you go. Well, guys, while I was at it, I needed mostly the uh, number four buck and number three buck for the 20 gauge, although I can get single lot in it too. But I was running low on everything, so while I was out there, I molded up a bunch of buckshot to replenish what I had. If uh, I'll post a link below in the video to show you how I treat the buckshot and all that is in another video that I've got posted. So I'll just post a link to the bottom of the page here to the video on how I treat the buckshot and all that. So next segment, we're going to get to load some 20 gauge buckshot. Hi hey guys. Well, we finally got back to this uh, 20 gauge buckshot loading segment. I'm using the active. These are already, these are brand new hulls, already primed. That's what we're going to be using today. All of my buckshot loads here that we uh, that we're dealing with are all one ounce. Uh, if we're using number four buck, if it's 24 pellets of number four buck, or it's 20 pellets of uh, number three buck, it's one ounce of shot uh, that we're loading. Uh, the mech here is set up to drop 18 and a half grains of Herco, a Lion Herco powder. That's what we're using. It works really good. Every load I have done, the uh, this uh, Herco works great with the one ounce charge of uh, of lead shot. So we're gonna do a run through. We're gonna load some number three buck, and this is two and two and three quarter inch here, guys. We're not loading the three inch today. It's two and three quarter inch today. Uh, we're gonna be putting in the uh, they call these the thin seals, gas seals. This is about an eighth inch. The uh, ballistic products. 
right here here's your part number ballisticproducts.com but that's your 20 gauge gas seal and we're also using the uh the ballistic product quarter inch fiber wide they come in half inch sections most of them are in half inch and you just break them half in two and but there are occasions that we use a half inch of a, a fiber wide and if it's not that we punch out some uh i've got some quarter inch cork that we use probably won't be using it today we'll be using the half inch fiber wide for these loads so uh we drop a 18 and a half inch grain charge in here put the gas seal then we're dropping half inch section half inch of the fiber wide and make sure we temp it I'll make sure that I take my ram rod here guys and make sure it's good and temp down you can listen no powder rattling around in there you've got it temp down good now the number three buck we will it stacks four really really nice in here so we're going to stack five rows of four pellets i don't know if you can see in there pretty that high def camera i hope it's picking it up you see the four in there and we're going to alternate stack four more seven eight Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 20 pellets stacked in right there, and we're just about, oh, a half an inch from where the crimp will be there, guys. And then when I do that, I'm using Super X buffer I get me a scoop of the super X buffer here I've loaded a bunch of these things so about you gonna have to get them up there and temp it you can see through the side of these active holes pretty easily but it's liable to take me a couple of Oh, a minute or so to get this thing temped down through all this buckshot guys there's no sense in you having to watch that okay it took about 45 seconds to a minute to get all the uh to get the um the buffer let's see if i can get my hand behind it where it'll focus on it guys so you can see it get the buffer temp down where i want it is just covering the top of the buckshot so now we'll uh, with new holes i'm using the five star crimp guys because it crimps up real, real pretty on the five star right there. And you can see, see how pretty uh, your buckshot got the buffer that had made it between all of the pellets, all 20 of these number three buck pellets. And you can see it through there really good on this active. But uh, they work real good out of my little uh, 500C Mossberg, guys. Pattern's really, really good. I'll put, I'm gonna put a note on here that this is uh, number three buck. I'm gonna come back, we're gonna load a number four buck. Okay guys, we're gonna work on a number four bug here. But see, that's where I just make my note on here. Just right on there that it's number three buck, 20 pellets. That way you can keep track of what your buckshot is. Okay guys, I've already I've already powdered, got the powder in the, uh, this one, got the uh, the gas seal and the little half inch fiber wide is already in here. So now we're gonna grab some number four buck. By the way, number three buck is 25 caliber. Number four buck is uh, is 24 caliber. 20 pellets of number three buck weighs one ounce. 24 pellets of number four buck weighs one ounce. So now, but the number four buck stacks five. I'll get him stacked in here, guys, and I'm going to give you a look at it. Okay. See, you can see in there, so hopefully it'll focus on it, guys. You see there's five. You stack five in there. And so I'm said 24. I'm sorry guys, it's 25 pellets. 25 number uh number four buck is what we'll put in each one of these two and three quarter inch mags. 
pushed by 18 and a half grains of Herco. That is one ounce of shot that it's uh, that it's pushing here. So we're gonna fa stack them five, five rows of five. And there's, like I said, it's gonna take me about a minute to get that done. We'll be right back when I got it. Okay, guys, five rows of five right here. Five rows of five, just over, probably just over about a half an inch from the top, but we're gonna put buffer in here. We're gonna temp the buffer down. Uh, like I said, a Super X buffer is what I've got, the Winchester Western Super X buffer. And that's boring. It's gonna probably take me about a minute to get it temped down in here. So we're gonna get it temped with buffer and then we're gonna come back when we wrap this thing up. Okay, guys, it took me about a minute to get the buffer temp down in here. I hope you can, you can see the, the four buck usually shows up really good through the side also so that you can tell when you're looking at it that it's buckshot but we will make a note on it anyway we'll get him crimped up all right it crimps up nice and pretty there guys and we've got 25 pellets of number four buck in here in this two and three quarter inch mag like i said which is one ounce of shot pushed by 18 and one half grains of Herco powder. Works really good, guys. That's putting it out there at about 11, 1200 uh, foot per second. Pretty good for 20 gauge, and there's so many of them out there, and I didn't see any uh, loading data out there. It's hard to find it, or videos loading 20 gauge buckshot. Um, but uh, I got all my data from the Alliant Powder website for your 20 gauge loads, guys. So if you need any more information, you can go to AlliantPowders.com. All of my stuff here that I got, the wads and all that from BallisticProducts.com. Good group of guys, about the best prices you're going to find on the web. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helps out. Don't forget to subscribe. Bubba Roundtree Outdoors, we'll be back with another one soon. Bye-bye.